notification crew you're here yes you are welcome back how is everybody doing out there oh man we're rocking and rolling now in the studio getting these live streams going more regularly okay let's let it breathe for a minute make sure we're live all over the place okay it usually takes a second to uh for youtube to get the uh the engine rolling if you know what i mean that's right global there it is let's get it going in the chat kick it off with global where are you watching from around the world oh you know the drill everybody i see antoinetta here thanks for being here reed is in the house hey 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 thanks for tuning in oh man danny runs salutations all oh, right back at you danny oh man it's friday you better believe it Ayo from Italy. Thanks for tuning in. Paolo from Italy. Unbelievable. Oh, we got another it, it, two Italy back to back. Thanks for watching. Oh, man. I feel like this is a good time for a lot of the world to tune in. I realize some folks in the United States are still at work or maybe you're watching the live stream at work. Shh. I won't tell your boss. I promise I won't tell your boss. Hello, Trevor. Thanks for tuning in. Nico is here. Grant is here. Jonathan's always here. Toby's here. Grant is in the house. Oh, so good. Okay, there we go. Let's let us let it breathe for a second. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, my. I see Shannon. I see Jeremiah. I see Juan. I see Mario. All the notification crew is coming in strong right now. Oh, Dermata's here. So good. Okay. So what do you see behind me? Well, you probably see a lot of shoes and you see a box. Actually, I want... So this is going to be an example of a shorter live stream where we talk just about, just about running shoes. Okay. That's the goal for the shorter live stream. So we're going to go live for, you know, about 20 minutes. So it's going to be a little concise, going to respect your time and try and answer as many questions as possible. Also open up that box here in a minute. Okay. And I did, I do want to mention right now, actually, oh man, Eileen, thanks for tuning in. And of course, I've got to switch this out really quickly here because we are talking about shoes, of course, in the studio. So um, the shoes that I'm currently testing, just so you're on the same page as me, we've got the Go Run Ride 9 from Skechers. Okay, Go Run Ride 9 from Skechers. There it is. Of course, we've got the Wild Horse uh, 7 from Nike. Okay, the trail shoe that I'm testing right now. Um, actually, just wrapped up the Asics Nova Blast 2. We are now past 50 miles. Asics Nova Blast 2 right there, right there. And then also the New Balance Rebel V2. Okay, so just to kind of give you an idea. And, um, oh man, I mean, there's just a lot. And, you know, like the Peg, oh yeah, the Hoka Clifton um, 8 as well. Hoka Clifton 8, which I don't know if it is out here at the moment. So, oh man, so that's the shoe rotation for me at the moment. All right, let's dive into your questions. You know the drill colon question colon and i'm gonna dive in and then we'll open this box here in a minute as well okay let me set these set these shoes down um can't forget about this guy either oh man peg 38 oh boy there it is okay one second here oh okay um oh man i almost forgot as well trail racing shoes if we want to talk about this guy feel free to ask as well how's everybody doing good to see you okay let's see uh-huh let's go let's go oh man so many good okay barcelona's in the house hello from germany Mm-hmm. yes indeed all oh, good 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 okay let's see andy Wright. your prediction for the rebel v2 outsole might be a touch optimistic as far as the durability andy um i think that's what you might be referencing so how long will the outsole last let me know, Andy, in the chat if that's what you are talking about. I'd appreciate it. Uh-huh. Raymond, I see your question. Thanks for being a member of the channel. Are there any brands best for narrow feet? Traditionally, Nike has been known to run a little narrow, Raymond. So that's a good question. Um, I'd say Nike would kind of be at the top of my list, but they – actually, that's interesting. I've heard. Now, I have not tested the Pegasus 38 – there's too many shoes out there, but um, I think a lot of people have already tested the Peg 38 
let Raymond know. I believe they widened the toe box just a little bit from the peg 37 to the peg 38. So if somebody else could help Raymond out, I just haven't had a chance to test this out yet. Sooner rather than later. Okay. Jonathan is asking. Thanks for being a member, Jonathan. Wild horse trainer or race shoe? It is definitely. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it's 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 a trainer. Good question, but let's. Uh, well, let's put it on the scale. That'll help determine here. Okay. Boom. Uh huh. Okay. One second. Oh yeah. I mean, it's over 10 ounces in my size, so. Depending on the distance of the race, Jonathan, but I think the Wild Horse 7, is it's a, it's a trainer in my books, all right? Good question. Let's see. Juan, Clifton 7 compared to the Peg 37. Um, the Clifton 7 is a lot softer. It's a lot softer and a wider landing, okay? I don't think I have the Peg 37 out here at the moment. I do have uh, the Peg 37 uh, Gore-Tex version or the uh, the uh, the waterproof version. There it is. Okay, but so the you can just see the differences in the midsole there. It's just bounce, uh, not bouncier, but softer through the Clifton Seven. Um, yeah, if you want more comfort, I would go Clifton Seven and Peg Thirty Seven. It's kind of heavy. Is the issue? I mean, I'd say this is more classic daily trainer. And I'd put the Clifton 7 more in the easy day, uh, but can also pull off daily training. Yeah. So there you go, Juan. Thanks for tuning in, Juan. Uh-huh. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. So many questions. Oh, man. Andre is here. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, my, my. Here we go. Thanks. When, when I see the bells, I appreciate it. Shannon in the house. Oh, where's the bell? Thank you. Thank you, Shannon, for joining up as a DGR member. Oh, I appreciate it, Shannon. It does help. Here we go. Where are you at, Shannon? Let me get you up on the screen real quick. There you are. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate you. Get some cowbell today. Onward and upward. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm just trying. I'm trying. Yes, Sebastian, we're going for it. 38s look over engineered. Let's do the weight, Steve. Let's do the weight, Steve. And thank you for being a member. Okay, here we go. Um, Steve, Steve, and I were able to meet up uh, in person in Naples uh, for the 10K. We actually met in person. So I actually know I know Steve in a sense. So Steve, thanks for being here. Shout out to you. Oh man, I don't know. Okay, here's the deal. For the Pegasus lineup, it is getting a little bit of a bad rap. I've just noticed online, watching other people review, not review the shoe, but just talk about the shoe on social media. I'm just sticking my hand into the, like, it's feeling really nice. Like, really comfortable in there. Um, I think it's the ride of the peg, like, those airbags in there that a lot of people don't like. So, anyway, Steve, let's, I like your thinking. Okay, here we go. One second. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah, interesting. Okay, 9.3. A little heavy, a little heavy. All right, there you go, Steve. If it, Under 9 ounces is better in my size for daily trainers, for sure. So, mm, interesting. There you go, Steve. Appreciate you being here. Uh-huh. Okay, Brendan in the house. Thanks for tuning in, Brendan. I appreciate it. You guys can read his comment there as I look for a question. And again, I see, uh, okay, here we go. Dermot is asking, Seth, do you think the Meta Racer was a flop for Asics, hence the Meta Speed Sky? I have the Meta Racer and the cushioning to me was not enough for marathon distance. A hundred percent. You nailed it. You nailed it, Dermot. I don't even need to add anything. The, the, the Meta Speed was a complete flop in my opinion. It just, maybe it was a half marathon shoe. I think I even, at the end of the day, started to put it into the 10K category shoe. So, good question, Dermot. But, yeah, it just didn't work out. And hence the Metaspeed Sky and then the Metaspeed Edge. Whoo! So, yeah, the, the Meta Racer is uh, is going to be on its way out. I think it's already out, out of the rotation for, for Asics. Um, uh-huh. 
Raf Raphael, I do appreciate you asking, Raphael. I do not have Patreon, but if you want to join up, DGR member, you can do what Shannon just did, become a member of the channel, and the bonus is that you get a bunch of extra perks, okay? So, Raphael, you got to go to the homepage and just click on join. I appreciate you asking. Okay. I have not been. Have you received the new Atreyu artist yet? I know you received the prototype. I have not. I have not. So I don't know if they're going to send me one. Listen, I cut it open. Actually, here it is. And I don't know if they loved, I don't know if they loved the fact that I cut it open, but I was so interested to see what was on the inside. Um, I haven't heard back. So hopefully I'm not on a bad, a bad footing with Atreyu, but uh, there you, that's the, that's the situation with the artist. They have not sent me another pair at this moment. Oh, welcome to the studio. This is where we go live. Oh my goodness, over 220 people watching. That's amazing on a Friday afternoon. I, I'll just say it. If you hit the like button down below, it alerts more of DGR to come check out the live stream. So thanks for doing that. If you have a second, here we go. Oh man, that's right, Jeremiah. We can get the T going in the in the uh, chat there. I've got, I don't even remember. I don't even remember what I'm drinking today, but thank you, Jeremiah, for tuning in. Onward and upward. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mateo, do you have any shoes that you enjoy with a 12 millimeter drop? Um, is the Ghost 12 millimeters, everybody? Could you help me out? It's either 10 or 12. I love the uh, Brooks Ghost 13. Um, yeah, Brooks Ghost 13, Mateo. But it might be 10. Hmm, if somebody could help me out, what's the other? I think it's 12. I think it's 12. Oh, gosh, sorry about that. All these numbers to remember. So there you go. Brooks Ghost lineup. Tommy's always tuning in. Thank you, Tommy. Mm -hmm -hmm. There you go. There you go. A little bit, Hunter. I have seen some of them. Okay, this is interesting. This keeps coming up. Should I wait to get the Endorphin Speed 2s? Um, versus I'm guessing you're asking about the ones. <sighs> I don't know if the update is going to be big enough. I just, no, I just don't know. I need to keep testing, but at this point, after just one run before I heard about the embargo, I think the Endorphin Speed 2 update might not be a huge leap forward for Saucony. Okay, so, but again, I, I haven't taken the shoe to... Uh, 50 miles yet because because of the embargo so there you go all right okay here we go um massage rupik okay hold on hold on let me find you let me find you there you are thanks for being a channel member and using those question marks Whew. innovate innovate x talon g210 Solomon S Lab Pulsar or something else for Pikes Peak Marathon for you. Oh, you're asking about the marathon. Oh, well, since I flew the W in these very shoes, it's going to take a lot of work for another running shoe company to convince me not to wear these again. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks for being here. I just got to leave it there. Um, so we'll see if any other, if the innovation, that's the beauty of innovation with these companies, they hear me talk. They see the racing, and then they got You got to one up it. You got to one up innovate. So, which believe it or not, this is actually kind of advertised as an obst obstacle course racing shoe. Did you know that? Um, so very interesting. Not traditionally advertised as a trail running shoe. Okay, here we go. Marcos is saying, "Have a good run this weekend, everybody." Yes, indeed. Nike Invincible solid long run shoe right now. It is. It is. Yeah, it'll do the long run. Oh, yeah. 100%. It'll, def it'll definitely go long run. I mean, this thing is just so bouncy and crazy and bouncy and crazy and, and bouncy again. So, Brett, it's a, it's a fun ride. Now, $180. All right. It is available down below. Just give a little plug. Uh, so, it is... Uh, yes, they're not giving it away. That is for sure. Nike, uh, they know they can charge it because it's... It's got some, it's a, it's a fun ride, no doubt. Um, okay, okay. So when do the shirts ship for the DGR races? They are 
on their way. I don't know when they'll actually arrive, but they have been shipped out the door, okay? So, the good question. They are on their way. Stay tuned. Um, yes, oh my goodness. I guess I'll mention, wow, May 15th through the 23rd, tomorrow... The DGR Distance Classic kicks off. If you haven't registered, it's not too late. You can do so down below, okay, in the description. There's a link down there. Also, just on, actually, I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Just go to demoreglobalrunning.com. Right on the home page, you can click register, okay? Demore Global Running, right there, demoreglobalrunning.com. Click register, and it's $10, okay? So it's not free, um, but it's $10, and then we're 10 percent of all the registration fees goes to support the brave like gabe foundation and let me just pull up their website okay so you can go learn more about who we're supporting bravelikegabe.org and tomorrow the races start but you can register actually throughout the week and it's one mile 5k 10k uh, half marathon marathon vertical challenge oh my goodness it's gonna be fun oh my you guys are amazing i i i kind of forgotten here we go boom there it is oh man Demore global running distance classic may 15th through the 23rd inspiring the world to run there we go everyone so anyway ten dollars and you support the brave like gabe foundation okay okay all right there we go okay here we go let me take a few more questions and then we're gonna open up we're gonna open up the box all right mm -hmm. so many good ones and again if i can't quite get to it bear with me lisa runs fast thank you for being a member lisa um hi from washington state just ran about seven miles on the oh boy that name snow snoqualmie valley trail in my ultra temp twos nice that's awesome very very good i love it thanks for being here lisa and tuning in mm -hmm. okay interesting george oh boy i gotta take some stuff off the screen here george do you have a link george I didn't know this. See, this is where it's DGR strong. I can't keep track of all these running shoe companies all the time. George, if you could, on Twitter, how, could you send me a link to that shoe, the X Talon? All right, please send me a link to that as soon as possible. I would appreciate it, George. Or link to it in the chat. Uh, that would be amazing. Okay, let's open up this box. Um, okay, Josh, I'll take one more. Josh, you're the last one. Uh, before we open the box Mach 4 or rebel v2 for a 195 pound runner <sighs> Mach 4 I said it I said it Mach 4 it's just gonna hold up better for you Josh Ooh, yeah now the the rebel v2 is um I think about a half an ounce lighter maybe a little bit more but man the mock Mach 4 there you go there you go all right oh man okay okay let's see let's see where's the knife where's the knife i don't know where the knife is oh there it is hold on okay Woo. okay any guesses what's in the box i actually know i know the company but i don't know what's in the box wow feels kind of heavy this might have two shoes everybody oh man oh man so these running shoe companies they are they are butter in my bread that is for sure so i did not buy this shoe this was sent to me and there you go all right it's like come on come on Ugh. hold on don't worry this this knife is dull as a butter knife just so you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. i keep the knife and it's kind of fun to use it's a knife that my buddy made for me in high school he we used to go out looking for antlers in buena vista colorado uh, elk antlers deer antlers and then he would make things like he'd make chandeliers to put in cabins and make lamps and yes he made me this knife isn't that amazing it's so cool so shout out to blake okay here we go let me just put that there mm -hmm. whoa here it is oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness oh. okay you guys know the drill. Whoa, more Puma. When it rains, it pours. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Do I... <laughs> One, two, three. Here we go. Oh, man. Do... Oh, boy. I might have to give this pair away. Not right now, but soon. I think I already have this shoe. This is the DV8 Nitro. Who was at the live stream like a couple days ago? I think I already opened this shoe up, okay? DV8 Nitro from Puma. Thank you, Puma. But I think I already have this. If not, anyway, I'll be testing as soon as possible. Puma DV8 Nitro. There you go. Can somebody help me? Oh, man. Okay. I love you. I love you, Puma, but oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Moving on to the... Whoa. Here we go. This is interesting. One, two, and three. Boom. Oh. What? The Eternity Nitro. The Eternity Nitro. Puma is throwing down in 2020. Like, they are throwing down. They are not messing around. Who is interested in Puma in 2020? I mean, they are just unleashing in 2021. So this is this is crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, I think I have four Puma shoes now to test out. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, thank you for all the help in the chat. I think you got the DV8 Nitro Elite. I did get the Elite. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Grant, thank you. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This feels... Oh, this is their stability shoe. There's a little bit of stability built here into the uh, medial side of the shoe, running from the midfoot up to the heel. All right. This little... Uh, it's not a piece of plastic. It's like a piece of um, hard foam. Wow. Hold on. Whoa. Let me just check the the gusset. Ooh, fully gusseted. Okay. Okay, Puma. I like it. All right. So shout out to all the. I mean, yeah. Wow. 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 I think it's. I think it's a stability shoe. I don't know why it says run guide on the side. So I believe that this is their stability shoe. If anybody has this, let me know. Okay, so there you go. Two Puma shoes. And where's the other one? There we go. All right. Today's unboxing in the studio. Uh-oh. I see you, Lee. I see you, Lee. Thanks for becoming a member, Lee. Butter to the bread. Come on now. Boom. And don't forget to... Uh, don't forget to check out the Discord server, Lee, okay? If you don't know what Discord is, um, I made a vlog three or four days ago about Discord. So anyway, make sure you check that out. Thank you, Lee, for becoming a member. Okay, there we go. Onward and upward. Okay, again, I'm trying to keep these live streams a little shorter, a little more concise. So I'm going to go for just, I'm going to take like three or four more questions, all right? Um, just because I'm trying to do the live streams more efficiently and more often is the goal, which, you know, I just got to be, you know, we, we just got to, we got to rock and roll. We got to keep, we got to keep, uh, keep these blogs publishing every morning. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the stability one. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate your on the fly research and information there. That's awesome. Okay. Lee Miller says, Noah, Lee is in the house. Okay. Uh-huh. Hello from California, Juice Box. Thanks for tuning in, Juice Box. Okay, so so good. Good evening from Italy, Italia. What do you think? New Balance Re Rebel versus Propel. Um. Well, I mean, if you're looking for a little more speed and a little more pickup, a little more tempo pace, I would go Rebel. All right, and I think I'm gonna. Well, no. I was going to say Rebel V1 versus V2, but, I mean, it's a pretty big update. I'd say the Rebel V2 is, is a big update in a good way. So the Rebel V2, it would win the it, it would win a running shoe battle pretty much hands down. All right. Okay. Keep those questions coming. Mm-hmm. What about Nike React Miler 2 for the summer? You know, oh, oh the Miler 2 heavy 
you know, it was a little heavy. It wouldn't be my first choice. It depends on what you're... And this is a good point. As you, as you are asking questions in the studio about shoes, if you can give a little more context about how you're going to use the shoe, that will help. So I don't know if you're using it for, uh, you know, if you're using it for daily training, if you're using it for long runs, if you're using it for easy days. Um, but anyway, I wasn't a huge fan of the, of the Myler, just so you know. Okay. I know, Matt, you got to check out the Kinvara 12s, way better than the 11s. They look so amazing. You wouldn't even like you, they, they, Matt, they look so, I agree. They look, it's like, that's another example of a running shoe battle. It wouldn't even be fair. The 11 versus the 12. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my, my. Thank you, everybody. Bracky in the house. Here we go. Boom. Boom. There it is, Bracky. Also, Chase. Come on, Chase. Boom. Cowbell. Oh, should we should we do it? I wasn't gonna go there, but I, I it's, you guys are in control. It's not me. I'm just trying to hang on for dear life here. I'm just trying to trying to hang on for dear life. Thank you, Chase. Thank you, Bracky. Okay. Um, Noah is asking, would you say that the Arahai is an easy day shoe? I believe you said, Noah. Um, yes, I would put it more daily trainer or even middle distance day. Yeah, I would put it daily more so. Could you use it for an easy day? Yeah, but I, that wouldn't be my first choice for the Arahai. Okay, Noah, so good question. More daily trainer slash middle distance day. And if you had to, you know, taking it up to your long runs as well. Good question, Noah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, boy. Super chat coming in from Daniel, it looks like. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Seth, I messaged you about the Escalante two streams ago. Just let me make my case real quick. I've got 55 miles in my Torrens and 310 miles in my Escalantes. Interesting. That's interesting. Um... Because I'm the reverse. I probably have... No, I love the Torin lineup, and that's good. That's good to know, Daniel. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I'm not sure you convinced me, but we'll see. I'm not giving up, okay? Not giving up on the Ultra lineup. Who else is a big Escalante fan? Let us know in the chat, okay? Onward and upward. Uh-huh. Man... Andy, explain what is a daily trainer. How much does it cover? So, Andy, what I consider my um, steady days and steezy days, and I've made a vlog about different types of runs. It was the beginning of 2021. So, everyone, there's a huge database. <laughs> We're talking over a thousand videos database on this YouTube channel. So you go to the home page, find find the search box and then type in different types of runs. You type that in, uh Andy, and you will find a vlog where I explain the different types of runs that I use in my training. So I would recommend going and watching that vlog, Andy, okay? Um so you'll understand what is a steady day, what is a steezy day. Um, and what's the difference? Whoo! It's good. It's it's good. It's a good question, Andy. I hope that helps. Head over to the home page of this channel here in a second. Oh, you made you did it. Oh my my! Did you do another one? Okay, here we go. He did another one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed it, Daniel. This is a second, <laughs> Daniel. Thank you. In my opinion. The Escalantes, because of reduced material rubber foam, serve to stretch and engage soleus heel arch more effectively than the Torrens. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. And I guess it depends on like what your volume is. The reason I guess I lean in the direction of the Torrens is to baby my legs a little bit more because my volume is pretty high. You know, 90 miles a week, 100 miles a week, 120 miles a week. So... Good point there, Daniel. Thank you for the super chat. It does help the channel 100%. Okay, I got I to gotta cut myself off. Got to cut it off. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Apostolos uh, Dimu. 
Uh, good evening. As a 210 pound guy, I bought the Rincon 2. I'll keep you informed about its resilience. Thank you. That helps. You know, whether it's on Twitter or a quick email, um, I might not be able to write you back immediately, but that would help because the Rincon 2, I, I would foresee breaking down kind of quickly uh, for 210. So I appreciate the update there. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Whew. Got to take a breath. What do you think about the new La Sportiva trail running shoes? I have no clue, Simon. In the sense that they haven't sent me a pair, and I really haven't had the chance to do the research. I heard that they're updating their lineup, but I really haven't had a chance to hold it in my hands and test it for sure. But I got I hope they update it in a big, big way. Okay, all right. I think of La Sportiva, and I think of hiking boots. I've tried to run in La Sportiva in the past, and the shoes have been very kind of bulky and thick um, and just kind of stiff underfoot. So I hope they uh, lightened up the midsole and just didn't ma not make it as stiff, okay? So that's the goal. There you go, there you go. Simon, I hope that helps. Simon, I don't know where you live. Your last name looks like maybe Switzerland, maybe? I don't know. I don't, let me know. Um... La Sportiva is based in northern Italy. I would love to test La Sportiva, but nobody from La Sportiva has ever approached me to say, hey, Seth, try these shoes out. So if they want to send me a pair, I'm more than happy to test out La Sportiva, 100%. Uh-huh, there it is. Okay, I, I see it. I see it. I mean, everybody. If La Sportiva does not send me the shoes here's the deal what's happening on the channel as the channel keeps growing and i'm just gonna say as more members come on board like daniel welcome daniel to the studio super fans i mean here's the deal this channel is turning into something that's beyond anything i could have ever imagined ever imagined okay you know especially even to like nine months ago so, thank you, Daniel, for becoming a member. And how I'm using this money, your hard-earned money, for this channel is to buy new filming equipment, <laughs> fix broken film filming equipment like the GoPro, even though that GoPro still works. I'm not going to replace it uh, from a couple days ago. Remember that. Uh, but also to buy new running shoes that are not sent to me, like La Sportiva. Okay? If La Sportiva sends them to me, great. But at the end of the day, um, I realize like not every company is going to send me shoes. So anyway, Daniel, thank you. I appreciate it. It uh, it helps. It, it just helps at the end of the day. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Based in South Tyrol in Italy, the new models seem promising. Simon. Oh, you're based in Italy. Awesome, Simon. Very good. Thank you, Simon, for letting me know. Um, so Juan, once you become a member, you, you can join the Discord. So if you click on join Juan on the homepage of the YouTube channel, so you might have to wait until this live stream is done, hop over to the homepage of the YouTube channel and then click on join. Okay. And then it, it, it lays it out very clearly there on the homepage. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Esteban Melendez in the house. This is perfect timing, Esteban. Monday morning. All right, everybody. Any on fans watching right now? Right there, right there. Esteban on fans. It's coming. Monday morning, Esteban. Okay. Good timing. Mark your calendars. There you go. There you go, Juan. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. This might have to be it. The Fox. 3300 here we go 1080 v11 verse 10 slash 10 verse say a nova blast um man i always like oh there we go okay there we go i always like to hold it in my hands if possible just to uh frankly even sometimes just to refresh myself as far as how they feel and actually since we're here live and you guys are crushing crushing life and uh Rocking and rolling. Let's put it on the scale. Okay. I'm going, I think it's definitely lighter than the peg. 
Pegasus 38. I think it's like 8. I'm going to say 8.6. Hold on. Ha! 8.3 for the 1080v11. 8.3 in my size. And then Nova Blast, I think, is 8.6 or so. 8.8. So the 1080v11 is about a half an ounce lighter. Here's the deal. My, the main difference, the Fox 3300, is that um, the material being used in the Nova Blast plus how ASICs is... See all those interesting ridges on the midsole? It's a little hard to see with this. Let's see those interesting ridges there. Okay? That, coupled with the decoupled groove on the outsole, this is a decoupled groove right there. Okay? So that, plus the Flight Foam Blast midsole material, creates a bouncier ride, a, in my opinion, a livelier ride, and a, a, a more, like, I, I would use this for a tempo day. If I, you know, it's, it's a little heavy, but I would if I need it. And in fact, I did. About uh, the first run, I took it out. I was just, it felt so good underfoot. So, what I'm getting at the Fox 3300 is that I, I, I much, much more prefer the Nova Blast 2 versus this guy. Uh, this, is a, this is a good shoe. Very comfortable. This would be more daily trainer, easy day. And this is more tempo, easy, uh, daily, middle, long. And there you have it. So more tweener. You can accomplish more things more in your running shoe rotation. Cut him off. Cut him off. He's got to go. I said 20 minutes. Oh, this is going to be hard. It's going to be very, very hard to go 20 minutes. But we'll get better at it, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Onward and upward. Upward. We will see you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. Once again, if you're just joining and you want to sign up for the DGR virtual races, it's not too late to register. Okay. Oh, there's the shirt, May 15th through the 23rd. It starts tomorrow. Registration is down below or on demoreglobalrunning.com. Okay, Demore, let me just pull this up there. All right, there you go, demoreglobalrunning.com. Right on the homepage. Click register. You can register there. And uh, we're supporting the Brave Like Gabe Foundation through the registration fee. Okay, Brave Light Gabe Foundation through the registration fee. Oh, what a great day. Okay, I guess I have to go. I gotta go. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow, 5 a.m.